वेलकम टू पैट आंसर केमिस्ट्री क्लास टुडे विल स्टडी बी एस सी सेकेंड ईयर यूनिट केमिकल कैनेटिक्स इन दैट पर्टिकुलरली विल स्टडी रेट एक्सप्रेशन वेन द कॉन्सनट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स आर नॉट इक्वल ओके कॉन्सनट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स आर नॉट इक्वल तो लेट इज कंसिडर रिएक्टेंट्स ए एंड बी रिएक्ट टू फॉर्म प्रोडक्ट ओके सो इनिशियल वन टाइम वॉज जीरो द कॉन्सनट्रेशन ऑफ ए बी स्मॉल ए एंड दैट ऑफ बी इज स्मॉल बी एज द रिएक्शन इज नॉट प्रोसीड्स द कॉन्सनट्रेशन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट इज जीरो ठीक है सो वैन रिएक्शन गोज एट सम टाइम टी द रिमेनिंग कॉन्सनट्रेशन ऑफ ए लेट इज कंसिडर इट एज ए मैन एस एक्स एंड बी एज बी मैन एस एक्स एंड दैट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इज एक्स देन एज इट इज द सेकेंड ऑर्डर रिएक्शन द रेट एक्सप्रेशन कैन बी गिवन एज डी एक्स अपॉन डी टी इज इक्व टू के टू इंटू ए माइनस एक्स इंटू बी माइनस एक्स ओके से इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन वेर दिस के टू इज ए रेट कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर सेकेंड ऑर्डर रिएक्शन के टू इज ए रेट कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर सेकेंड ऑर्डर रिएक्शन ओके नाउ एज यूजल सेपरेट वेरिएबल्स ओके सो separating variables we get separating variables we get dx upon a minus x into b minus x is equals to k2 into dt say it as equation number 2 okay now you cannot integrate it directly therefore splitting into partial fractions we get splitting into partial fractions we get okay so splitting this dx upon a minus x into b minus x into partial fractions so it gives partial fractions as 1 upon a minus b into dx upon b minus x minus dx upon a minus x as partial fractions now we can integrate this get therefore from equation number 2 and equation number 3 we get 1 upon a minus b into dx upon b minus x minus dx upon a minus x is equals to k2 into dt theek okay. hai therefore give it as equation number 4 on integrating we get theek okay. hai so it is 1 upon a minus b is a constant which will it will be out of the integration so 1 upon a minus b out of integration so integration of dx upon b minus x minus integration of dx upon a minus x is equals to k2 is a constant therefore k2 integration of dt therefore 1 upon a minus b as it is so integration of dx upon b minus x is equals to minus log of b minus x minus this minus remains as it is again it is integration of dx upon a minus x is equals to minus log of a minus x is equals to k2 into instead of dt it will become t okay so is equals to k2 into t plus c okay so this c is a integration constant c is a integration constant therefore simplify this equation that will give you 1 upon a minus b this minus n minus become plus it will be log of a minus x minus log of b minus x is equals to k 2t plus c or 1 upon a minus b as it is you can write simply as 
as the log of a minus x divided by b minus x is equals to k 2 t plus c. Now as last time as we did we find out the value of c by putting initial conditions. So, put initial conditions at t is equals to 0, x is equals to 0 to determine the value of c. Therefore, it is 1 upon a minus b into log of a minus 0 minus b minus 0 is equals to k 2 into 0 plus c thus it gives value of c as c is equals to 1 upon a minus b into log of a divided by b say it as equation number ok so this is equation number 5 and this was equation number 6 so put put the value of c from equation number 6 to equation number 5 therefore from equation number 5 and equation number 6 we get 1 upon a minus b into log of a minus x divided by b minus x is equals to k to t plus c instead of c write value of c as 1 upon a minus b into log of a by b ok so simplify this take this value of c towards left hand side we get I write k to t first so k to t is equals to 1 upon a minus b into log of a minus x divided by b minus x and the value of c as minus 1 upon a minus b into log of a by b ok so take a 1 upon a minus b 1 upon a minus b common and merge these two log terms ok so first step 1 upon a minus b common then log of a minus x divided by b minus x minus log of a by b so instead of minus log of a by b we can write plus log of b by a therefore k to t is equals to 1 upon a minus b into log of a minus x in divided by b minus x plus log of b divided by a merge these two log terms we get final as k2 is equals to this t towards this side so 1 upon t into 1 upon a minus b log of b into a minus x divided by a into b minus x so this is the last equation ok now this is natural log convert this natural log into log to the best end so k2 is equals to 1 upon t into 1 upon a minus b into log of b into a minus x divided by into b minus x give it as equation number 7 now convert this natural log into log to the best end so multiplied by 2.303 we get k2 is equals to 2.303 divided by t into 1 upon a minus b into log of b into a minus x divided by a into b minus x say it is equation number 8 so this equation number 8 is nothing but integrated rate expression for second order reaction ok let us discuss characteristics of second order reaction characteristic number 1 unit of rate constant k2 so unit of k2 is the first characteristics k2 is equals to 1 upon t into x divided by a into a minus x now t is measured in the time so instead of t you can write time x in the units of concentration a again concentration and a minus x concentration take a one concentration get cancelled so it have 1 upon time into 1 upon concentration so instead of time you can write time as a seconds instead of concentration you can write it as a moles per liter or simply moles per liter will becomes liter per mole it is liters per mole 
per second so first characteristic of second order reaction is units of k2 that is liters per mole per second so characteristic number 2 is the numerical value of k2 will change with a change in units in which concentration units are expressed suppose new unit suppose new unit b m times m times greater suppose new unit is m time greater than first one than first one therefore what happens the expression now becomes k2 dash is equals to 1 upon t into so instead of x it is m x divided by m into a into m into a minus x okay so here this m cancel this m get cancelled it will be 1 upon t into x divided by a into a minus x into 1 by m or simply it is 1 upon t x divided by x x divided by a into a minus x is nothing but k2 so k2 dash is equals to 1 upon m into k2 that means the new unit k2 dash is 1 by m times greater than k2 so this is characteristic number 2 the characteristic number 3 the time required to complete certain fraction of the reaction is inversely proportional to the initial concentration of the reactant okay or uh, let us consider t half b half life thus at t half thus at t half the concentration will become half and the product concentration say will be equals to a by 2 then then you can write k2 as k2 is equals to 1 upon t instead of t write t half into x okay instead of x write a by 2 divided by a into a minus x instead of x again write a by 2 so this will be equals to 1 upon t half into a divided by 2 into a again a minus a by 2 is equals to a by 2 so a by 2 a by 2 cancel it is equals to 1 upon t half into 1 by a or t half is equals to 1 upon k2 into 1 by a or you can write it as t half is proportional to 1 by a that is half life is proportional to inverse of initial concentration or half life is inversely proportional to initial concentration of the reactant so let us go for the characteristic number four when one of the reactant present in large excess the second order rate expression becomes a first order rate expression now second order rate expression is given as k2 is equals to 1 upon t into 1 upon a minus b into log of b into a minus x divided by a into b minus x now if this a is in present in large excess then this b and x get neglected then this equation becomes k2 is equals to 1 upon t into 1 by a into log of b into a divided by a into b minus x this a is cancelled then k2 is equals to 1 upon t into 1 by a into log of b divided by b minus x now take this a towards this side so k2 into a is equals to 1 by t into log of b divided by b minus x now a is large excess consider it as a constant k2 is already constant say new constant as k dash is equals to 1 upon t into log of b divided by b minus x this expression is nothing but first order rate expression it is just like first order rate expression